Ooh, my people, look at what we have today. <laughs> A very unique species of fish today. Let me know if you know this, but this right here is mostly eaten. In Uganda, it's mostly eaten in the West Nile region. So guys, we're going to have this delicacy today and this requires soaking. You know why? I'm going to let you know later on. <laughs> Let's soak it. When I say soaking, I mean it should be fully covered in water. I'm sure you're wondering why, but let's keep it right in here because we're going to leave it to soak for a while before we can start cooking. So we're going to have it mixed in right here. Guys, you can't wait for this. So guys, after more than one hour of soaking the fish, it's time to start cooking. I know you're still anxious to know why we're soaking. I'll show and tell you shortly. <laughs> Let me light my cigarette on my fire stove very fast. So guys, this fish here that you see here is um. Okay, when they're preserving it, it is done using a lot of salt, yeah? A lot of salt. So that's the reason I first have to soak it. Because if you don't soak it, your soup will turn out really too salty. So when you soak it, you're kind of soaking out the salt, the excess salt. Another thing, when you're cooking this, you don't add in salt. Eh? The salt in it is already enough. So after soaking, you remove the skull just like any other fish. Yeah, but you, you do the washing like numerous times, up to like four times. All that is to make sure that you remove out the salt. When I say excess salt, just know it's excess. So another thing, to remove the excess salt, we also use, this This is like our washing sponge for utensils. Okay, that chicken also. This is like a washing sponge for utensils. But to make sure there's no soap at all on it, eh? So you use it and just brush it off a bit like this. Still, to remove the salt, guys, this fish can have a lot of salt, I'm telling you. Uh, for those who know it, please let me know how you remove your excess salt. Yeah. So it is time to cut them into pieces. Put the salt on the fire as I continue with the cutting because my fire is ready. <laughs> so you can see the sizes of the pieces. That's how I like them. Some garlic for aroma. Meanwhile, this fish has a very strong scent. It is time to start cooking, guys. I'm adding oil. And of course, you know, I don't do I don't do a lot of oil. We have something here waiting for its time. tomatoes and garlic 
Remember, no adding salt. This is for thickening. Adding it. This will help me thicken the soup. So at this point, I'm going to add in the water, which will be the soup. Remember, I did not add salt. I am still reminding you again. So I'm going to leave it to boil. And it is time to add the fish. So guys, it is time to add the okra into the mixture. So we're going to leave it to boil again. And whoo, sauce is ready. Oh my goodness, see how this thing looks. Wow, wow, wow. Just look at this. The fish, the okra. Ooh, something else just. Have a look. Once more. Oh, let the aroma not escape. Let's cover it. <laughs> so straight away, I'm going to put some water for mingling. I'm going to serve this with some fosho or what some of you call ugali or I don't know whatever you guys call it please let me know in your area how you call this fosho like bread made out of maize corn maize flour whatever I don't know how you call it right here guys so that's water for mingling let's leave it to boil then we can come back <laughs> still want more aroma here mm. and it's time to mingle And food, look at this. Food is ready, guys. I want to look at this sauce again, guys. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so nice. Wow, look at this, guys. I love how the fish appears in just the middle of the okra oh goodness and then oh I push it very fast because you know what there's a way I'm, I cannot even wait <laughs> I think I want to start with water clear the throat then I can swallow well mm. oh my god it's hot again there's way this thing really 
punishes me. You know, something is nice and again hot. Ah! So, how about I do the meat first? But with this fish, it has a lot of bones, guys. So, you be very careful. Hmm? But wait, I subscribe before I tell you all those things. Hmm? If you're not, why are you not subscribe? <laughs> Please subscribe already. I have a lot in store for you. For now, let me eat, please. Hello. Mm.